I intend to enjoy my retirement. I'm going back to Accra. I'll be relaxing for a few months, but I also serve on a number of boards and organizations, so I'll be busy with many of those. I am retired in terms of not waking up to go to work at mm -hmm. 8 o'clock, but it does not mean that I will not be engaged in many things that are important to me. I live with a, yeah, a sense of fulfillment. I think that uh, I'm leaving the division in a better place and uh, I know that Toko has been appointed as a director so there will not be a gap you know, so the, the division can continue both with its expected work plan mm -hmm. for, for the rest of the year and also, you know, go ahead to chart a path forward. I will be working on issues of education, on issues of migration, gender. These are important issues for me, retired or not. I am also in many networks which work on these kinds of issues, so I will continue to add my voice and also um, add the perspective, some of the perspectives that I have gained both from working within my division and with other divisions within ECA. I will be on the ECA website quite a lot to catch up with what is going on, you know, so I hope that I won't miss too much of the programmatic and you know, uh, content issues and I'm sure there will be opportunities for me to um, participate in some of the activities of ECA. I am hoping that of course my division grows from strength to strength but not only my division but um, the other divisions you know especially as ECA 1060. We need to demonstrate our relevance to our core constituency you know to our member states. I think that um, Sometimes we're busy producing a lot of things, but we could ask ourselves if this, this is really what some of what we produce is what our member states need, you know. So it's a fine line between being demand driven but also anticipating trends. It is that engagement with member states, you know, we don't have country offices. We could work better with our SROs, I think, you know, and also work with other organizations that are located on the ground, you know, so that we're not saying very different things, we're trying to work together. We have limited resources, you know, and it, it really limits what we can do. It's, it's also about our commitment to the core UN values that we really must make it a reality that we don't just, you know, it's not something that um, is on paper, but we embody those kinds of values and uh, we, we give value for money, that uh, well, the money that we earn, you know, that we can be sure at the end of the day that we've actually earned it, that we have worked hard to justify it. It's a lot of money and, and we know the circumstances of Africa. So I think that we have an, a special obligation to make sure that we're putting Africa first, you know, as our logo says. and. Uh, in all ways, not just as a slogan, but in, in our attitude, in our, you know, that we're not just rehashing old ideas, but we're engaging with, with the challenges. It doesn't mean that we know everything, but we have to push ourselves, you know, work with other people and uh, challenge ourselves to, to make sure that um, are, we, are we really, you know, giving as much as we should be doing. Yeah.